Follow me on Twitter at JB underscore iPhone 5. Hey guys, what is up? Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to get free apps um, on your iPhone 5, 4S, whatever. I'm running this on an iPhone 5 on 6.0.1. And um, the way this works is, I'm sure you guys heard of iPhone Box before, um, but what you can do is actually install third-party apps through this. Um, they have to be signed apps, but um, there's a pretty easy way to do it. So first off, I'm just going to show you one that I downloaded, and I'll show you how to do it. So what you do is connect your iPhone, and then you'll see it right up here. It'll show your information. Okay, now after you download um, the file or the IPA, you're going to go over in iPhone Box Classics and then click Install App. Now, um, I suggest making a folder on your desktop where you would install the app um, or we save all your apps so I'll go down here well, there you go, yeah, I was like I made a file somewhere, alright just click this one here and then also watch on my iPhone it'll pop up and it's installed, we'll go ahead and open it up and the app works perfectly nothing wrong with it at all and then to delete it it's just as easy as holding it down and deleting it alright so I'm gonna show you how to do that um, what's kinda of funny is on this one it doesn't even say it supports the iPhone 5 but you know whatever most things still work anyway um, so the best way to do this is going to Google and search in the app you want for instance um, if you go under here to find more apps, you see an app you'd like. Let's see. Um, Plants vs. Zombie. Or, I mean, Infinity Blade 2. Let's try that. So go ahead and open up your internet browser. And then type in Infinity Blade 2.ipa. Alright, and now just find the website that will let you download it for free, like this website here. Which this is going to come out as a torrent, but it's up to you. I'm not going to download this. It's, I didn't realize it was a gig. I don't even think I have that much memory on my phone. <laughs> but uh, so after it would download, what we would do is put it in the same thing. I started this website for one. Alright. Uh, after you download it, um, put it in that file and then just run it the same way and install it. Sometimes they won't, uh, sometimes it'll say failed. I downloaded a couple paid apps for free and it worked. Um, so yeah, it's it works pretty well. Just make sure um, you're not downloading an app from a place you've never heard of. If it uh, looks kind of sketchy, don't do it. But um, yeah, most of them will work, so it's a good way to go. Um, if you guys have any questions, just leave some comments below. Um, and thanks for watching.